Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is another reading for someone who took me up on my 1111 special. And once again, this is a love reading, a twin flame reading. So if you found your way to this reading, um, maybe it's not a coincidence. Maybe there's some information that's supposed to come through for you as well. So let's get started here. Um, if you did email me today or in the last 24 hours for a reading, um, just be aware I had a lot of people um, email me and so I'm cranking these readings out. I'm taking little breaks uh, to make sure I'm grounded. I'm going out in my garden making tea and also doing a little bit of self-care in between because that's really important to make sure everyone's getting like a really good quality reading. So, um, and also each reading takes almost like, I don't know, it takes a while sometimes to upload these readings. So. Be patient. Um, if you've been waiting a couple hours, just know your reading's probably going to be posted soon. But don't assume um, any of these are your reading because I have, um, you will get the link as soon as it goes up. Like as soon as it's up, I send the link like the next second. So um, if a video is posted and I don't send you an email, then it's not yours. So just wait until you get your email. And if you happen to want to watch another reading, maybe there's some messages that will come through for you as well. But just be patient. I know some of you guys have emailed me wondering where your reading is and it's been a couple hours, but I do have some people probably in line before you. Just be aware and I'm sorry I'm not able to email you back because I'm really making sure everyone's getting their reading um, by the end of the night, at least for where I am. I don't know if you're living in another part of the world because I know I'm literally doing readings for people all over the world. It's crazy. Um, it might already be bedtime, and I'm sorry if I didn't get your reading to you in time, but you'll have it when you wake up. So, let's get started. The joined energy. I feel like you're just gonna laugh when you see this, because this is like sparring. <laughs> Challenge, conflict right now. There is conflict between you guys. There's this cloud of confusion. It's There's a lot of back and forth here. One of you guys is a lot more logical and opinionated, perhaps judgmental. And there's another person in the relationship that I feel is a bit, a bit more open, a bit more naive, a bit more um, kind of open-hearted. And so it's, it's kind of heart-centered. So you've got this head-centered person, this heart-centered person. It's why you guys compliment each other, but there is a lot of polarity here. There's a lot of push and pull. I think that I didn't pull this for some of my other twins. For some of my other twins, I pulled like peace in this position. So for you, there's a challenge here. I'm just going to say it, you know, Mercury is retrograding all over you guys. And so I think you're laughing right now. I think it's because it's almost comical to you because you've had some situations come up recently that you know were just like testing you. And especially with in the dynamic between this person, it's just really testing you right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rewind a little bit and tell you that when I pulled these cards, these two flew out of the deck. It was so crazy. And so I kind of sat there before I turned the rest of them over and looked at these for a while and realized that the main message, if you're going to go away with anything from this reading today, the main message is that you are on a new path. And this new path is because of your spiritual awakening. It's because you've had some something happen in your life it, it's either just like a shift you've had because of some type of loss or maybe you moved somewhere or you just had a huge um shift in your paradigm and in your perspective and so what's happening here is you know you're starting to question you're starting to wonder you're starting to change your beliefs and your thoughts and you're shifting and it's actually a shift for the better here it's a path for the better you're you're really getting into alignment. Um, and being in alignment just means like you're coming to be your true authentic self more. And um, I think they're saying that you need to surrender your will in this relationship because what's happening is you're awakening to your higher self. So everyone has like a quote unquote higher self. It's basically just the greatest version of you. It's like the best side of you. Okay, so we've got this side. It's like our connection to to everything and like nature and like oneness and, and like, um, you know, source or whatever. And then there's the part of you that's ego. It's more like ego is all about separation. Ego is fear based. Ego is, um, you know, it's more in your head. Not in a good way, though, not in a logical way. It's, sometimes ego can be like very judgmental and um, it, it's it's very competitive 
and um, your higher self, you know, that's more love based. So the thing is, is you're starting to realize like this duality, like you've got, you know, the shadow side of you, you've got this ego and as you grow older, naturally, this side of you, you become aware of it. You become of your ego, aware of your ego and you start to balance it and you start to get it under control so that, um, you know, you can actually use that side of your brain. It's more like the reptilian side of your brain, your ego, you know, you can use it and harness that um, wild energy to get things done. But if it's out of balance and you're not balanced, you know, using your higher self and following your inner guidance and acting from like a love place, um, your life is just going to be really co complicated. It's going to backfire. You know, a lot of things you're going to do. So, um, I used to have a really out of control ego. Um, a lot of it had to do with the way I was raised. And then, um, also just, you know, I'm in, in my twenties and I'm getting older now. And I think it's just natural. You kind of grow out of that egotistical part of your life. Some people don't grow out of that. And that's where you get the whole egotistical asshole thing. <laughs> but, um, Basically, you're starting to become aware of your shadow and you're facing it and you're confronting it and you're kind of shining some light there. You're doing some healing work and um, it's kind of helping you wake up a little bit and it's helping you um, understand more about yourself and your life. It's helping you take more initiative in your life and you have a lot of inner strength. But I'm seeing this message to surrender your will and surrender your need to control um, and I think you're doing that. I think you're actually learning how to go with the flow. There's a lot of death in the background here. Um, and this, this relationship just burdens you at, at the moment, at least. It really is a burden because, um, you, there's something you desire to have happen here, but, um, there is a new path and I think it could be related to this relationship. They're just a huge message. They're saying, surrender your will. So, um, interesting. Very interesting. Let's get back to the reading. So, you know what's really great about this challenge card? I pulled the sun with it from my um, personal deck, and the sun is the most positive card in the traditional tarot. It's kind of like the yes card. So I think this is talking about your union. I think this is going to come together. I'm seeing some signs here. Um, new path, new path. I see the twin flame card. I see protection. I see moving, movement. Um, these are just some things that are jumping out at me. So I'm thinking that there's currently conflict here in your joined energy, but this sun card says, a new sun is beginning to rise within you. Be proud of your hard work. You have now been blessed with the gift of the ability to bounce back from disappointment and despair. And I think that's what these clouds are. These clouds are parting, you know, this disappointment and despair that you probably both faced, perhaps related to the relationship. Perhaps there was an argument, a breakup. I don't know. Something really interesting here. Conflict. So that's the joined energy. Things are really shifting. This is his energy. So very fascinating because I just pulled this for the last person um, for the, um, the energy of the other person. And you know what? I just said his because I feel a very strong male energy once again coming from the person that's in this placement. So if perhaps the whole gender thing doesn't apply to you in that way don't worry about it it's just this person this is your twin here um they they have i feel a very masculine energy coming from them at this time so um this person is just coming out of a personal winter so this card is very specific it means that when i pull this it means that the person i'm pulling it for was in a really rough time. Perhaps they were tight with money. Perhaps they were having to work a lot. Perhaps they were like going to school and like just having to work their ass off and take like a ton of classes. And it's a very hectic, intense time in your life. It's also a very isolating time. You know, it could be that um, this person had like an injury or something and had to recover and more almost like isolation. I'm, I'm feeling some type of injury. It's weird. Um, it could have been an illness or something. Um, but it's like they're making their way out of that now and they have their footing and now that this is thawing and this winter is over and the will of the year is turning and we're heading into a new season, it's like they're anticipating the future and what's next and they're really thinking about nesting, you know, because what's this bird going to do now that the snow is melting? It's going to go out there and start building a nest, start getting ready to, you know, kind of have this home and like mate and stuff and create something, you know, what's, you know, create newness. So I think that this person does kind of want to create some type of future, you know, home, um, which is good. It's good to know that, that 
this was oh maybe this is why you haven't heard from them if you guys are out of contact or perhaps why they seem very distant is because they had to go through this um so that's their energy at current your energy wow yeah it's a very big transition for both of you what i see from this card is that you are leaving this difficult time behind as well so there's a lot of mirroring going on here in your energy. That's very twin-like. <laughs> this swan, um, it, I see it on another card, and on the other card, it, it means, you know, leaving behind a difficult time. So on this transition card, you see this swan again, but this time it's like, you're on the boat, you know, and you're not looking back. And this signifies the will of the year, and it's turning. The seasons are changing. You guys are both feeling the same thing here, and your energy is mirroring. It's you know it's time to move forward it's time to think about what's next it's time to go somewhere different to go somewhere new you know metaphorically or physically and this is um this kind of represents the hermit so it, it's it's a journey alone you guys are are kind of alone right now it's it's a very personal journey for each of you um there's a lot you're trying to manifest. You have put your wishes and your dreams and your hopes out there, and now you're just going out into the unknown. You want to try to head to a more successful place in your life. Um, so it's a very emotional time because it's it's for you. This is a big leap of faith because you were in this cycle for so long. You felt stuck. You felt sto frozen. You felt stagnant. You felt like nothing was moving. But now you're flowing. You're you're learning how to go with the flow. But it's brought up a lot of emotions in you. So um, you just pulled yourself out from underwater. You know, you just felt like you were drowning there for a while. And your sorrow and your despair may be related to this conflict. So um, this is saying that that you're heading forward now. Um, I'm going to read you this card because I'm feeling your intuition to read it to you. Your current energy. I really love... Um, this deck is so beautiful. So this comes from the suit of arrows and the suit of arrows has to do with um, strategy, your dreams, your wish projected wishes, you know, manifestation, like I said, your ambition, your hopes. So you're really, this is what's on your mind right now. Um, this card says, you may need to exercise judgment, power, force of will. The Kingfisher is impartial and helps you to see clearly what you no longer need to hold on to. Use your strength to cut yourself free of what weighs you down. So, Mercury retrograde vibes all the way. Letting go of people, places, things, and situations that no longer serve you in your highest growth. I'm really starting to understand that on a whole new level. That's essential sometimes as you go through life. Um, when you hang on to the old and you resist change, it can cause a lot of darkness. It can cause a lot of disillusionment, confusion, unhappiness, you know? We want to grow. We want to expand. That's why we're here. And now you're ready. And so um, it's a really beautiful time in your life, actually. It's intense. I'm not going to lie. This is pretty intense between you guys. So no wonder. But this sun card, this is what you need to focus on. The light, you know? Um, the fact that this is like a yes card, you know, like you're bouncing back and look at this spontaneous opportunities are on your horizon. Keep a lookout. I bet you feel it. I bet you feel that the tides are changing. That's kind of what I see in this card too. It's like the tides are changing here. Something different's coming in a good way. So, you know, when your life has gone one way for so long, it's really strange when all of a sudden it starts changing and you get really suspicious and you're always afraid that it's going to go back there and like to how it was, but it won't. I promise you it won't. Like things are really changing, not just for you, but for a lot of us on the collective and in the world. It's just so interesting. Very interesting times. I could seriously go on a tangent about that, but I'll spare you. <laughs> Stay focused on your reading, but... These are interesting times, and, you know, sometimes big changes happen overnight. So I guess what I'm trying to tell you and what these cards right here are saying is that keep your head up. Um, don't be so quick to judge the situation. When things start to kind of transform and shift around you, you got to hold the light. You have to hold the light. See, she's holding the light. Stay positive and, and, and believe that these changes are for your highest good, you know, and that these things are appearing in your life for a reason, you know? to either bless you or teach you a lesson.
<laughs> um, his feelings about union at present. Look at this. Attraction. I'm going to turn to the page in this book and just ho hover over it with my camera so you can take a screenshot in, in case you want to read this card more in depth. Because it has a really, really cool um, way that it explains attraction it's for anyone who's interested. This book and this deck are like so intellectual. It's insane. So hopefully you can get a good screenshot of this or something. There we go. Um, but basically, this card is saying that, you know, he is feeling this. He is feeling this. He's feeling it everywhere. He's feeling it sexually. He's feeling it emotionally, spiritually. And I think that the book kind of talks about how sometimes when it comes to attraction, like, you don't really know exactly what it is that's attracting you to someone. And the same things that are attracting people together today are the same types of um, things that were attracting them together, you know, our ancestors, you know, like, sometimes it's like pheromones or like whatever, like, your, your heart, your gut, like your intuition, like, it just seems to be so interesting and mystical, like how people are brought together. I mean, I've heard crazy stories of them. Even the way I met my partner was so, like, such a divine chance encounter. Like, so I feel like this person, they are very in their head. I'm already getting that energy from them because they're very hesitant. They seem very, like, maybe, I don't know, it's weird. I feel a lot of earth sign from them. It could be possible that they're an air sign, but they also have, like, a lot of earth signs in their chart. But, I don't know, maybe they are an earth sign. Um... But, yeah, I'm feeling like this, you know, your twin is very logical, but there's part of them that just knows that there's something about this connection. And, yeah, it just flows. Like, you guys just kind of flow well together. And I feel like that's his, that's his feelings towards you. That's his feelings towards union, like you guys coming together. Um, there's a passion, there's a fire here, there's an intensity so maybe it's because that's what he's looking at right now. It's, he's thinking about that. Things have kind of settled down and now it's like, okay, do I want to do this? Like, so far they're at least attracted. You know, this is the twin flame card. <laughs> um, your feelings about union. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so funny. It's like... You are just exhausted because you've been thinking about this person a lot. And this, a bit, this could have been going on for a while. And you just want this home. You have this beautiful vision in your head of like this home with this person, you know? But what's blocking you right now is actually the same thing that's bringing you closer together in a way. It's your spiritual growth, your awakening. You've had some type of spiritual awakening. That's why you're heading on this new path, you know, research it. Spiritual awakening is very personal to each person. For some people, it's just, I don't know, realizing like you're one with the earth. For other people, it's just starting to listen to themselves more and like starting, like tuning into yourself and your emotions versus like looking for answers outside. For some people, it's like converting to a certain religion. For some people, it's doing tarot readings and crazy stuff like that and meditating and I don't know it's just everyone's on their own like journey here in this world and life and everyone has their own unique perception of how they see this world so spiritual awakening is just one way to label like a basically a really intense growth you have where you just shift and you just change as a person like we're changing all the time but it's like a big change fast and it's you know usually very emotional mental very spiritual um has a lot to do with your connection with yourself and your connection to other and your connection to the universe and whatnot. So you've had this awakening, you know, and ultimately you're transforming. It's a positive, beautiful growth. You're going to grow into the greatest version of yourself and you're going to become very successful. And I think you already are. I feel like you're a hard worker. You push yourself really hard, you know? So you're physically, emotionally, everything. You're done. You're exhausted. You're tapped out. This conflict, this Mercury retrograde is just like, you're done. And so your feelings currently about union are, um, you know, you want this, but 
you know, you're tired and you feel like you're kind of, you might even be a little bit angry at this person because of how long this has gone on. And, um, you know, <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with this. Um, I think what's really standing out is I think they're trying to tell you, like, you really need to rest. And this is, this, if you're feeling overwhelmed and if you're feeling like, I don't know what to do and like what am I supposed to do because like, I feel like that's a huge thing that's coming through for you right now the answer is to rest and focus on your growth and your transformation and um, hold this vision of this home you want in your head and stay positive but look at here hmm, twin flames interesting I hope that helps there is some advice cards I pulled at the end so what he knows that you don't. Oh. So these cards came out and I, like I said, I felt like they had a duality. I felt like together they were a message for you, but I also, these cards also have their own placement in this spread, if that makes sense. So reading it in the spread, there is a lot of mirroring here, you know, this person you don't know that this person has had a spiritual awakening too oh my gosh maybe that's why they feel so connected to you now you know maybe this person's like getting into spirituality maybe they're just getting into themselves you know what i'm like just oh you know becoming more comfortable with their emotions or something or like they've learned how to accept themselves like i said spiritual awakening isn't always like you know you freaking convert to buddhism or something and like go join like a monastery it's not always like that it doesn't always look as crazy as this picture it's really it could be very simple for some people it's just everyone's different you know i feel like in his own way he's had an awakening and um like i said what's up with me pulling all of these these winter cards for this guy you know what i normally pull and i start i start noticing patterns with people of um water cards like oh wow there's a lot of emotion here in this reading because there's water well what's up with all this snow for this guy i'm just yeah, it's cold around him this and i feel the coldness in his energy i think this person is someone who i'm not gonna say they lacked empathy but they are very uncomfortable and afraid of showing emotions and um i think it's totally because of their path in life and some stuff they've been through but I think part of them, it's like the snow is melting, so the hardness around their heart is, their heart is softening, and um, they're, they were very angry, you know? I'm, I'm, man, I'm just picking up a lot on this twin, this person. I'm picking up a lot off this person. It's interesting. They're very angry, and um, yeah, I'm not going to go too deep into it, into this guy's personal stuff. I'm just feeling this, this need to stop because... Um, you know, we need to bring it back to you here. But basically, just know this person has been through a lot. You know, some stuff you might not be aware of. Some stuff they might not even bear, be aware of. Maybe they're becoming aware of it now. Um, but they're having to kind of readjust their life and their perspective. Um, maybe the things that they used to want, they're realizing they don't want anymore. So they are a bit lost, but it's leading to this new path. So they're not lost. You know, they're still on the path. But it is a very uncertain time for them. So you don't know that. You're not, you, you weren't aware of that pretty much until now. And why is this being revealed? Perhaps to help you not stress out so much so you can rest. Maybe the spirit's just like, you know what? Fine, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what's happening here. But you got to rest. You know, I am feeling that. I'm feeling that. So what you know that he doesn't. <laughs> So, you've had a lot of death around you and a lot of loss. There might have been something really big that happened you haven't been able to tell him. And you want to, and you want to explain it to him, but it's like, because it's really changed you and who you are, but it's like, for some reason, it's like you can't, you don't have access to that him right now, or you can't bring yourself to tell him or something for some reason. He also doesn't know that you have surrendered your will in this relationship. Like, you're basically like, come what may. You know, you're like, whatever's going to happen will happen. And, you know, you're just like, I'm going to just trust now. You know, you're, 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 you've you're surrendered. And that's a really big step. You know, surrendering is a huge part of this journey. So, you surrendered. Oh my gosh, isn't this so pretty? 
One of my clients gave this to me. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> so, what does the path look like if you make a move? I feel like this is a good question. Hmm. This is what, what does the path look like if you don't? You know, I just feel like I keep getting this answer for everyone. It's so weird. I usually, you know, a lot of times when I pull these cards, I'll get a decisive answer. Like I'll pull the death card for one and then I'll pull like the twin flame card for the other. So it's like easy for me to be like, okay, you mean this is the choice. This is the one that I think is being recommended here. But lately, especially today with everyone so far, it's been very neutral. It's saying that if you make a move and you like reach out to this person that, you know, things will be reciprocated. There will be some energy exchange here. Um, and this has, this is, has to do with manifestation and like something coming through. So whenever I pull this card, I, I always get so excited for my daily readings. Cause I'm like, you guys, something's coming through manifestation all the way. But I feel like if you do reach out to this person, it's going to be reciprocated. I can't say like, if you confess your feelings or if you ask this person back in your life or whatever, um, that that's going to happen. But I do feel like if you were to reach out, um, you know, with a gentle approach, um, when you are feeling good, because you see how kind of a happy vibe this card has, it has yellow and green in it because, uh, yellow and green together symbolize healing and communication. So it's like, if you want to reach out to this person, you're just going to have to communicate in a very healing, very gentle way, a very gentle approach. Um, but what does the path look like if you don't reach out? Like if you just kind of wait? Well, Fox is the problem solver. Fox is also the secret keeper. So it's making, and it's also kind of like the trickster. So I feel like if I feel like if you don't reach out, and that Fox also talks about moving. So I'm thinking that there is going to be some action and some movement that happens. I feel like you are going to end up getting a lot closer to this person. You know, if you wait for this, it could just be that it comes. Because, you know, we ask, what are this person's feelings about union? It could be that even a couple days from now, you get your answer. It could be this, this card it's like when you pull it it's like it's laughing at you it's kind of like haha like don't worry so much like there's something really funny that's gonna happen and really ironic that's coming your way um i've pulled this card and it's like forewarned like really strange ironic situations like i i can't really sit here and get into detail about it but i've had some really ironic things happen to me after pulling this card so um you know what i feel like if I were you, they're just saying if you end up doing something and, and you get impulsive and you say something to this person, they're going to reciprocate it, but you just need to be careful here. And um, if your gut is telling you to reach out and you're like, okay, I, I know what this means when I see this. I need to reach out. I feel it. Like green's like my favorite color or something. If, if this is like sticking out to you as a sign, then go for it. But I feel like if it was me, I might choose this route and I would just wait because there could be something headed your way. Um, maybe you end up meeting someone else. Maybe you meet a soulmate and this person sweeps you off your feet and like, you're like, whatever. And it, like, that's always awkward and hard, but you might need to go be with that person and have fun and like live your life. And that might be the ironic thing is that you meet someone who, who makes you forget about this person almost because you never do all together. So I feel some type of trickery here. It could be, yeah, something ironic happening. It could just be the, an irony, like a couple days from now, this person reaches out to you and confesses how they do feel about union, which is very, you know, they want to be with you. They, they're attracted. So answers could be coming your way. Movement. This is a movement card, swift movement. So you're either moving somewhere. I pull this card when people are moving somewhere. Or there's a lot of movement, like uh, some things coming in and out of their life, things changing quickly, and trickster energy. So, very, very interesting. What does, let me see, his feelings. <laughs> his feelings, we already did that one. His feelings for you, basically. 
Wow. So it's mirroring this one. This is talking about like a cosmic t connection and that there's some type of force greater than you can understand like that's put this together like Stonehenge like they're like they can't explain it they're just like well maybe some force greater than we understand put this together or maybe the aliens put it here whatever you know what I mean it's just he doesn't really quite understand his feelings for you but he just knows there there's something different here with you in a good way it's like there's something there's this like connection you know like maybe maybe there's something more to this than he thought and um, he feels safe. He feels at home with you. And so it really makes me feel like this is really true love here. You know, I didn't pull anything from my Doreen Goddess Guidance deck. These are a lot of cards that like are kind of more like mushy and say like true love and stuff. But for some reason, I only felt the intuition to pull um, from my Wildwood deck for you. It's a lot more logical and analytical. I feel like you're a lot like your twin in that way. So, um... But yeah, this is a very loving card, and it says that they feel very safe with you, and that's important, you know? So, where are we now? What do we do now with all this information? What's your next step? What's the advice here? This is advice from spirit. <laughs> wow! Wow, this is pretty much exactly this. It's just a little bit different. It's more, you know, obviously it's more advice-based, but there is a big message they want to get through to you because remember I said these cards got thrown together and now we're ending the reading with this. Um, very strange. Strange, a lot of strange stuff happened with your reading, I have to say. In a good way, you know. That's how you know the message is very direct. What you need to do is embrace your shadow side embrace the fact that you know you do have this ego and there's going to be times where you get sucked down into this chaos and this fear and what's going to happen is if, you, if you're on a spiritual awakening it's going to take you into dark night of the soul usually you have your spiritual awakening you go through this like romantic period with it it's really exciting you start like really opening up to life and seeing it like a whole different way and awesome things happen and like whatever you feel very connected and then you kind of go through this depression and what it is is it's, it's just like your ego self kind of shedding away from you it's just like the old you is like you kind of let you it's like it's like you let go of this old person you were like you're, you're changing a lot but you haven't quite figured out who you are yet and you're still kind of putting piecing that together and like building your strength and so that's what's happening with you here that's why you feel so kind of empty and bare and like confused and kind of raw it's because you know the old is shedding to make way for the new it's like a snake when it sheds its skin you know right after it's gonna feel a little raw you know and so i think that that's what's happening here spiritual awakening big time of growth some people call it awakening some people call it a midlife or quarter life crisis um, some people call it existential crisis, whatever. Some people just call it depression, but everybody goes through it. Everybody goes through it, and it's, it's just part of you kind of coping with self, you know, your identity, trying to, you know, establish yourself in the world. It's part of growing up, and it's part of um, stepping into your truth and your authenticity. And I feel like this is a part of the journey that we go through a couple times in our life. Um, but you're going to find this happening maybe only once or twice, like in a really profound way. And I think this is a huge moment in your life. It's a huge turning point. And I don't know, I don't find it any coincidence that I've been doing a lot of reading similar to this right after the eclipse with these new path cards coming out. So, you know, the advice is, you know, to continue this new path in faith and with hope and with optimism, you know, don't be so afraid of this change. I'm going to go ahead and read you this card because it's so beautiful. So, you have come to a junction or a turning point in your life. It may be an unconscious state in which you feel the tide has turned or sense something is going to happen. In a way, it already has. Your spirit must move on, and the desire to leap into the unknown beckons. This may mean leaving behind or giving up some baggage or burden that you have carried with you from the past. 
Now is the time to be clear and not let fear of falling or sad disillusion with the universe hold you back. Let your imagination carry you into a new set of possibilities. It is a time to travel hopefully and open your arms to new and challenging aspects of the universe. Follow your heart, basically. You know? Follow your heart. So, that's a really beautiful message. <laughs> um, I do have to say one card did fl um, fly out of the deck. And it's really making me think they're saying, okay, first of all, it could be that you're a Sagittarius or the person we're in question here is a Sagittarius. This is a Sagittarius card. But um, it also could just be that you need to stay focused on this vision for your home. And, and that's gonna be what's gonna help lead you out of this. You know, if you don't have a vision and it's just, you're gonna get lost. You have to have a dream and a vision to, to keep your sights set on so you continue to take these steps forward. So follow your heart. What do you want? You want this home, you know? You're gonna have this, you're gonna manifest this, all right? I hope that this helped you out. And if anybody else saw this and you want a personal reading too, then hit me up because I'm pretty much only doing my 1111 reading for one more day. So this is it. My readings, the prices are going to go up. The readings are going to change a little bit. And, um, you know, if you're not able to really do, uh, do my full price, which is 2222, this is your last chance to get the reading for 1111. Hope this helped you guys out. Peace out.